Howdy, we are in Unit 3, Module 2, Session 4. This is called, this home connection is called Planning a Garden. It's a two-pager. I would put your name and number at the top. Very helpful. Date, optional, but if you know what today is, you might as well write it, right? Um, looks like we have some geo boards we're working with. Uh, but I have um, a few things that I want to show you real quick. Uh, I have red rubber bands, pretend they're rubber bands around real geo boards, but I have a rubber band around all of these geo boards. I've got two pages of them. A red rubber band around the outside would indicate the number one, right? Because I have a rubber band around the whole geo board, okay? I can take that one geo board and I can cut it in half like so. And this would be one half right, if I shade it in one side of it. Um, I could also cut it that way, right, and I still have it cut in half, that's one half, okay. Uh, besides cutting in half, I could cut it into four pieces, right, and each of these pieces would be one-fourth, so if I shaded that in, that would be one-fourth. Uh, but I could also do four equal pieces kind of like little bacon strips like this. Each one of these four pieces are the same. It's still one-fourth, okay? So far, I've looked at a couple different things. I could do half up and down, half left and right. I could do squares for fourths, or I could do little strips for fourths, right? If I take those little bacon strips and I cut each of them in half, whoosh, I now have eight pieces. So one of those pieces would be one eighth. Okay. If I take those eight pieces, let me do my little bacon strips, cut them in half. Those are my eight pieces. If I cut all of them in half, I now have 16 squares. And each one of these squares would be 1 16th. Okay. Just wanted to bring that up real quick before we started this lesson, okay? That's a quick refresher in our geo boards and how to divide them up into different fractions. So the Brown family is doing a garden, and each one of them wants to do it a little bit differently. Here it says they want you to divide this geo board so that half of it goes to tomatoes, one quarter of it goes to squash, and one quarter of it goes to lettuce. Okay? Well, I think the easiest thing to do would probably be to divide it in half. Hopefully, um, we can determine that putting a line down the middle, either up and down or left and right, will count. So we could say, like, this would be T for tomatoes. Okay, that's one half. Well, now I have this other half where I need to do one quarter squash, one quarter lettuce. Well, I guess I could draw a line here. And now I have maybe squash here and lettuce here. This is one-fourth. This is one-fourth. This is one-half. The interesting thing about the relationship between one-half and one-fourth is if I take one-fourth and I double it, so if I like take the top number times two and I take the bottom number times two, I end up with two-eighths which is an even, which appears to be smaller, but it is the same. Now, if I do the same thing with one half and I double it, take both of the numbers and I double them, what do I end up with? Two fourths. Um, so you can find fraction equivalents doing this, which is pretty helpful, uh, and we might need those a little bit later. Okay, so fraction equivalents. Been doing a little bit of those in this unit. Um, they want to do a quarter tomatoes, quarter squash, quarter lettuce, one-eighth peppers, one-eighth cabbage. Wow, so we have a fourth, a fourth, a fourth. Well, let's break it into fourths. But this time, rather than doing squares uh, like we did up here, why don't we try the little bacon strips and see what happens. Okay, so I have a one-fourth, 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 one-fourth. One-fourth tomato, one-fourth squash. Uh, let's see, one-fourth lettuce. Uh-oh, now I have an eighth and an eighth. But what am I left with? I have a quarter here. So if I take um, one-fourth, 
and I split it, I can split it into one eighth and one eighth. So I need to take this quarter, split it, and now I have one eighth and one eighth, and I can have peppers and cabbage. The Brown family might plant this way, one eighth tomatoes, one eighth cabbage, one eighth peppers. If we do it that way, how much of our garden will be unplanted? Well, we're only working with eighths, so let's split our garden into eighths. So we have eight pieces. Let's label it with tomatoes, cabbage, and peppers. And then how much of this is unplanted? I want you to list that as a fraction, the number of ones that are unplanted over eight. So you're going to put a number over eight there. I'm going to leave that up to you. We're talking about the number that are unplanted. Because right now, three eighths is planted. A highlight or our shaded in ones are not planted. So it's going to be some number over eight. Okay? Always pause this video if you need a second to think about it. If the brands, oh, browns, they're doing three sixteenths. Woo! A quarter cabbage, two eighths peppers. Wow, that's a lot. So why don't we? Let's see. It looks like the smallest thing we have is sixteenths. So let's put the whole thing into our smallest unit. So I'm going to draw a line connecting all the dots until I have sixteen squares. Three of them are tomatoes. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Okay. One fourth of the whole thing is cabbage. So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can do a whole strip. You could do a whole square. It's kind of up to us. Let's do let's just do a strip at the bottom. So we'll say this is cabbage, because this much of it is one fourth. Let's do two eighths. So like this would be one eighth, call that a pepper. And then this would be another eighth, call that a pepper. How much of this is still left over? So any of these that are not shaded is gonna be our unplanted section. We divided it into how many pieces? Well, 16 pieces. So how many of those 16 pieces is unplanted? That should be your answer. Create a plan for a garden that has room for five different vegetables. Label the vegetables in the garden and write an, equ an equation to represent the model. Five different vegetables. Well, hmm. Well, we might need so some smaller pieces here. So when you go through here, that's four pieces. I need five. So maybe I'll just split one of these, maybe like this. So this is a fourth. This is a fourth, this is a fourth, I have an eighth, and I have an eighth. So if I wanted to, I could say I've got uh, tomatoes, I've got cucumbers, I have um, eggplants, I have parsnips, and I have um, squash, okay? My equation that represents this model would be one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth equals one, because I this is my one garden. Okay, can you see where I'm writing over there? Oops, I'm a little off the screen. So if I add up all five sections, one, two, three, four, five, my five fractions, that should get me one garden, okay? And you can split this up however you'd like. This happens to be the way that made sense to me. But you could do a half of something and then split up the other half into four different sections. The sky is the limit. It is up to you. Um, I'd be curious to see what you end up coming up with. As usual, if you have questions, you can ask a teacher. We love to answer questions. Or if you have a math wizard that you're very close to, you can also ask her or him for help. Okay? Um, I'll check you later.